Greetings, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Creative Lab Awakening the Souls of Our Nations. 2025 initiative together with the uh, Hekal group from Jerusalem and Konshali group of, from Germany welcomes you and happy to be together today in circle as one group working the en with the energies of Scorpio Solar Festival. Before we proceed with our work, I want to invite us to uh, add the name of the country of your um, origin or the country with you, which you feel the most affinity with, add it to your name and you can do it easily by right clicking on your name on the list and uh, edit your name there just uh, dash and the name of the country um, it might be challenge if you are joining from a tablet uh, but otherwise it should be fine if you have any other uh, further questions about it just write in the question section and i will try to help you So let us start and over to you, Uta. Thank you, Alexander. Welcome everyone in this eclipsed Scorpio full moon light. We are in our 27th Creative Nations lab session. Beautiful to see all these different nations that we are. In our monthly sessions, we indeed come from all over the world together in order to learn to work with the consciousness of our nations. And now in this new round of the lab, the third round, to envision ourselves as a council of wise women and men who observe the affairs of the family of nations. We want to meditatively explore and experience how a United Nations of the future could be. So in the present series of sessions, we will practice some of the skills that are required for this high office and we will apply them as we focus on a specific nation each time. So let us now set the atmosphere for our work today in meditation by convening in our chamber for the Council of Elders. Let us withdraw our attention inwards to a place of perfect stillness. Breathing deeply. Through our body, we ground in the earth. We are calmly present as a soul in incarnation. For a moment, let us touch base with our own nation, standing on our pinnacle as the conscious self of our nation, 
midway between its personality and its soul. Feeling the love for our nation. And also our freedom from it. Holding our personal sense of self now, while also holding the note of our nation, balancing the two. And now we are ready for the gathering of elders in training. Letting ourselves be drawn to a beautiful building set in nature. Entering into a quiet and clear and spacious chamber. In it are seated, perhaps in a circle or half circle, various people that obviously come from different parts of the world. We sense the rich background that each brings into this space. The unique note of their nationality. Through the outer diversity, we can see the same wisdom shining from their eyes. And their faces radiate benevolence and integrity and freedom. It is easy to feel how each one of them loves their nation and at the same time is capable to address fearlessly and honestly its shortcomings. And we now take our seat among them, taking a moment to savor being in this presence of this council in this spread of vision and consecration of heart. And we can sense that this is a safe space for the affairs of the family of nations. As we are now getting ready to do our work, let us see if we can remain in the atmosphere of this council chamber. So as if we, we are physically sitting here together. So now let us begin with a short briefing in preparation for our work with Germany. I just want to briefly touch on a few points. In previous sessions, we have already looked at different nations through the presentation of what we call the snapshots. I just want to state again that a snapshot is literally our best shot of a national entity at this present moment. 
So it, it holds no claim of comprehensiveness and it is not carved in stone. It's meant for being done many times. It's capturing the present situation of a nation and also this only seen through the lens of a specific group of best citizens. So it, is, it will be different each time. And we are pioneers, discovering new ground. And our capacities are evolving as we go. And so also is the protocol of the snapshot. This protocol is molded on the scaffolding of Asajoli's psychosynthesis of a nation. And we are slowly developing it towards becoming um, more like the analysis which DK makes of nations in his book, Destiny of the Nations. And we take an empirical approach. It's all based on our own subjective experience at this point. This is the best we can do at the moment. So by doing this, we train both our analytical and our intuitive skills. The new point in our protocol from last time, there are several new points, but the, one of the main points is uh, an inquiry, a deeper inquiry into national unresolved issues and specifically how they may be used as an entry point by the forces of darkness, which we can also call global evil. And it is the shift of identification that we are now practicing from being a conscious self for our nation to being part of a council of elders that is overseeing the affairs of humanity as a whole. It's through this shift of identification um, that we can look deeper into the depth and from a safer place. We have the example of hierarchy to strive towards. Yeah, so Alexander, maybe you can post the current protocol of the snapshot in the chat box for those who would like to experiment with it in your groups. And as I said, it will continue to evolve and we will be happy for any feedback, for any suggestions. We are um, developing this together. Yeah, and hierarchy can also be for us an example in how we receive each other's snapshots. Let's receive them in harmlessness of thought and word, even if our own sense of truth may be different from the one that will be presented. As we all experience, we have this great polarity in our world and therefore also in our groups, each group. So we can use this lab to experiment together with, you know, just accepting that there is this polarity and learning how to, to bear it together to give some breathing space to our different viewpoints and to allow conflict to unravel into a field of creative tension. And in this field, hopefully new, much needed understandings can come to pass together. 
Okay, I want to touch on one more thing, and it's the last point in the snapshot protocol, which we call the soul blessing. Soul blessing is actually like the fruit or the synthesis of our observation. We observe both the nation's present personality expression and its soul potential. And when we bring these two together in our consciousness, a vision of the next step can emerge. And we can formulate this into a phrase or mantra. Something between a good wish and a call to action. A phrase that is born out of loving care for the development of this nation. So let's take a moment to, to realize what a soul blessing can be, a soul blessing by an elder, even an elder in training. It can be a precious gift for the nation, focusing, focusing a seed of the future, a help towards the next step. And specifically also, it can be a gift for the work of the group that is presenting the snapshot. So at the end of now that we are going into holding space for Germany, we will take a bit of silence um, to have an opportunity to extend a soul blessing to Germany. So now I invite Sabine, the speaker for the German Klangschale group, to tell us a bit about the work of the group. Over to you, Sabine. Greetings to everybody. Yeah, it's my pleasure and honor to introduce now our Klangschale group. Klangschale means singing bowl in German. Our group is now almost to the day three years old and currently consists of five souls, Annette, Ursula, Markus, Uta and me. Our purpose statement is we offer ourselves as a singing bowl for the soul of Germany, which receives the note of the German soul and connects it with the earth and sounds it forth. As a group, we meet online fortnightly for creative meditation and exchange. Once a year, we meet physically for several days and we experience these physical meetings as essential anchor points for deepening our group unity and our service. In addition to music and sound, which we have perceived from the beginning as an important element in connection with the German soul, we also include German history, politics and culture among other things. Astrology is a helpful approach for us in the deeper understanding of the essence of Germany, her challenges and tasks. We also use the heavens in our work with healing the old and seeding the new, with rituals and appropriate affirmations. As a higher note of our Klangschale group, we perceive the frequency of the fourth ray, the ray on which this German soul vibrates. Grounded on this fourth ray baseline, we work in group formations with all seven rays. 
just as in the field of the collective for which we have taken responsibility, we also find in our group different points of view and polarities regarding to the shadows and the political and social realities in Germany. So that this snapshot which we will present is in part a synthesis and in part still a kind of compromise that is not shared equally by all. We experience our different points of view in the group as challenging and at the same time useful and broadening our group space. One fourth ray realization is that in a world of conflicting opposites, excluding one aspect of the countless dualities destroys unity, synthesis and beauty. To create an atmosphere in our group field that honors and includes polarities, we experience as a service for Germany as a whole. By radiating this quality through our group field, it may help Germany as an entity to develop this fourth ray quality. We seek contact with the soul qualities and the envisioned future of the German being and offer our bowl in humble contribution to help the German nation take up her predestined place and function and in right relation cooperate with the other relations for the benefit of all. Thank you, Sabine. Welcome. It is uh, very valuable for all of us to share how we work as a group. We can much learn from each other and each group is working in a different way. So let us now convene as elders in training to hold space for Germany. Centering ourselves again in our own inner stillness. And sitting consciously in each other's presence now in our council chamber. Let us visualize as a relaxed and yet focused silence settles in our held space. And we invite Germany now as a living entity into this shared field. holding a heart space together for this collective entity, Germany, caring and alert, as we will now receive the German snapshot. Germany is a country in the center of Europe with nine bordering countries. Historically, geographically and politically, Germany is an important interface between West and East. Germany is rich in diverse nature and fertile soils. Germans are traditionally very nature oriented, which is also expressed in a strong environ environmental movement. We perceive Germany as physically grounded, calm and predominantly stable. Structure and order are recognizable German design principles. 
our ray hypothesis for the physical plane is the seventh ray. Emotionally, we are currently experiencing Germany as polarized. A certain overemphasis on security and matter and comfort currently puts Germany in fear in view of energy shortages and inflation. So-called typically German behaviors such as a sense of duty, objectivity, brave heart, prudence and calm are currently on a decline. Instead, we see ambiguity, uncertainty, anxiety. Old feelings of guilt, shame and inferiority come to the surface. In addition, we sense an unacknowledged and unexpressed longing for recognition, for appreciation and to be loved. Is that why Germany makes herself smaller than she is, avoids conflicts and aggressions and distances herself from emotionality in general? We sense at present many not integrated emotional parts, which as subpersonalities seem to have started to lead a life of their own. We see a lack of awareness for the real basic needs and interests that opens a door to manipulation. Germany prefers at the moment to orient herself according to others. She wants above all to be good and to do everything right. Germany supports ideals and is passionate, but also compassionate and supportive, willing to make sacrifices. And since long time building the welfare state. Sometimes she exhibits unexpected, spontaneously powerful reactions, which she later modifies. For example, the refugee crisis in 2015 or the nuclear phase out. Overall, we perceive Germany actually as emotionally out of balance. Our hypothesis for the ray of the emotional body is the sixth ray. Germany is strongly mentally identified, mentally identified. She possesses the capacity of orderly, analytical, structure giving thinking. Germany's mind is exploratory, critical and creative. She produced many great thinkers. Also many technical inventions come from Germany. Germany's mental ideal is to be an innovative pioneer, economically, scientifically and humanitarianly. We currently see the higher, more intuitive side of the mind neglected and the purely cognitive approach overemphasized. This causes at times a certain mental inflexibility. We can observe how tedious and difficult it is for new ideas to take root. Also, the perpetuating thought form of prosperity and security, which was a post-war survival mantra, paralyzes Germany in a present rapidly changing world. 
but we can also see with hope seeds of new ways of thinking in the many local community projects that are just emerging all over Germany. Our hypothesis for the ray on the mental level is the fifth ray. Germany has the first ray on the personality level. She has a sense of greatness, of power, of strength, of higher values, and she likes to relate to a larger dimension than just herself. She is often sluggish in the decision making process, but once a decision is made, she usually follows it unservingly and reliably. Her capacity for self-critique and her goodwill and cooperation in relation with ever new allies brought Germany international trust and esteem. Until recently, Germany was seen in a co-leading and mediating role in Europe. Germany stood for creating and maintaining peace through trade, negotiations, social weaving. With strength of will, she also was capable to take a stand for her views, even if they differed from others. Like as already mentioned in the refugee crisis and the Greece policy and also in the nuclear phase out. So basically we can consider Germany as a mostly integrated personality, able to act consistently and predictably for her own interests and with a strong focus on cooperation with others. However, at the moment, a strange and dramatic relapse is taking place. Germany currently seems to be suffering from partial amnesia regarding all that she has already achieved and all that she is. Right now, she demonstrates the behavior of a weak personality. Unresolved emotional issues, which have been hidden under a well-functioning mental body, come now starkly to the surface. There is a lack to be seen of clarity in strategy and expression. We are troubled to see Germany currently as increasingly powerless, passive and frightened. She seems overly oriented toward her Western allies and obviously is not recognizing how quickly she is losing independence and sovereignty that actually seem to have already been achieved. At the moment, there is unfortunately little to be seen of a first ray personality rather a strange vagueness and in inexplicable false modesty, almost servility, an anticipatory obedience up to self-harm. In this strange abs absence of selfhood, the unprocessed parts of the personality seem to have joined together into a shadow conglomerate and taken over the lead. Germany's fears seem to have put a taboo on the expression of her own power and have paralyzed her almost to the point of abandonment of self. Do we see here 
an expression of what DK calls the dweller on the threshold? Her state of alienation from her own core makes Germany vulnerable to instrumentalization from the outside, to targeted manipulation of unclear dimension, which we may call global evil. In the present world crisis, we can observe how other nations as well are brought face to face with their own blend of unresolved issues and how this opens them to the influence of dark forces. But let us look at some present behaviors of the German nation that may be a consequence of dangerously open doors to the shadow. Germany, for example, accepts self-destructive and ineffective sanctions imposed by the collective West against Russia, instead of advocating for more adequate action. Germany vowed after the World War to never again deliver weapons into a war area. It is sad to watch Germany having gotten drawn into just this right now. Germany did not even protest against the massive disempowerment inflicted upon her through the Nord Stream sabotage. Why is Germany obviously giving up her sovereignty and decision-making power and her care for her own well-being? It is worrying to observe how by not standing up for law and freedom, Germany weakens herself and opens the door to unwanted influences, at least on Europe as well. It may be asked how aware is Germany of what is happening to and through her. Germany is known as the land of poets and thinkers. Self-exploration and self-reflection are deeply inherent to her. But in recent years, this capacity seems to have been blended out to a large degree. Like in most countries since the corona crisis, the public debate space has been reduced to a very narrow corridor. And there was practically little to no self-reflection at all. Critical questions were sometimes even violent, violently suppressed in the public discourse and in the jurisprudence. And one could observe how these were diverted to alternative media channels and semi-secret groups. And thus a new kind of split in the information level was created. In the course of the separation of Germany into East and West and the reunification 40 years later, Germany deeply dealt with this East-West tension. It is unfortunate that Germany does not bring her acquired experience to the present challenge on this front. This action is painfully missing. Lately, however, we do start to see a gradual reopening of the public discourse on national events. In the arts, we observe isolated, very profound reflections. On the whole, however, Germany is not yet using her full range of possibilities to deal with her own situation in a stable, and self-reflected way. As sole potential, 
Germany has the qualities of the fourth ray and Aries. On the soul level, Germany has a sense of an inner commitment to the greater whole. Germany can be a model for the future, a living center for the attainment of mutual understanding and cooperation. And for the practical and structured implementation of higher values, such as justice, unity, harmony, philosophy, and beauty. Through her geographical position and size, Germany is predestined to assume a hard function for Europe. Out of the consequence and responsibility from World War II, this also includes to recognize evil, to purify and to transform it, and to become a gateway for the hierarchy as an antipole to the gateway for evil. Germany has already demonstrated her capacity to recognize conflicts with intuition and sensitivity and to master them in unconventional ways. Once it will emerge from her dark night of the soul, she may take up finally the position of a peacemaker and bridge builder, especially between East and West. As for the next steps towards this goal, we hold for Germany. To first of all, step fully and aware into her own power to critically review her self-image and cleanse it and courageously create a new positive self-image. We suggest that Germany examine her relation with the, her relations with her European partners, including Russia as a bridge between West and East and underline the long cultural common European heritage we share. And to reassert her sovereignty vis-a-vis -vis the USA. To find her sovereignty in all these relationships and rest on her own strengths and her own values. Here, a thought of re-evaluation of her basic law and the possibility to upgrade it into a constitution could help Germany strengthen her sense of self and revitalize her values and direction. Perhaps the very first step must be to allow more diversity again in the process of information dissemination and public opinion formation. To have the courage to allow for polarity and use it for the generation of the new. To speak and act clearly, both in internally and externally, and play her part actively in full awareness. And this is our soul blessing for Germany. First in German and then in English. Verwurzelt mit Mutter Erde. Verbunden mit Seele und Geist. Bewahre, entwickle, frei, aufrichtig, mutig und sicher den Willen zum Guten. 
Mit dem Feuer des Herzens verwandle Polarität in Synthese. Erbaue Brücken zum Frieden. Mögen die kosmischen Gesetze die Noten deiner Symphonien sein. Rooted in Mother Earth. Woven into soul and spirit. Preserve. Develop. Free. Sincere. Courageous and assured. The will to good. With fiery heart. Transform polarity into synthesis. Create new passages to peace. May the cosmic laws be the notes of your symphonies. Let us hold a few more moments in silence for our impressions to settle and for a soul blessing for Germany to arise. And let us now open the floor for any of your soul blessings to be given into our space. Germany, may you find the courage to come back to the original 
values and directions. This is Helen from Israel. Telling this great country, bring your inherited courage and beauty in the light and make it visible to the world. not inherent and inherent. This is Andrea from the United States. Let us hold the vision of Germany as the courageous, self-reflective light warrior, rediscovering her fiery sword as a divine peacemaker. This is Daisha from Canada. Germany, with a courageous soul, embrace the fine qualities of your personality to guide the world in moving forward together in peaceful synthesis while honoring the diverse gifts of every nation. Oh, blessing to this great country and is for it to realize who it really is, to awaken from the spell cast on it by the global elites, to realize who its adversaries are and who has always been a sincere friend. My vision and illumination come to the German people and allies alike. And may Germany become a sovereign country. Please uh, introduce yourself as you start speaking. Uh, Denis Arlov, Russia.
Um, Jill UK. May the soul of Germany gather strength, and by doing so, may Germany take its rightful place in the world as a force for good. Um, this is Judy from the United States. Uh, Germany, may you magnetize to yourself those leaders who can work from a point of wisdom on your behalf and on behalf of the world. This is Kit from the USA, and my blessing is, Germany has been a living model for the world in her courage, strength, humility, truth-seeking, and vision to recognize, address, and redeem her shadow into light. May she continue to do so and to help and inspire all nations to do so as well. Ana, Mexico, Germany, a blessing to you, return to your spirit, see the light pure, and imagine how deep you can get into the forerate, to the good of will, to the entire humanity, return to your beauty, and then get harmony to the whole world. This is Grete from Denmark. Sorry, I forgot to mention in my first a blessing where I came from. I want to uh, make it a little uh, longer. I find the courage. May Germany find the courage to come back to the old values and directions, directions to be the bridge to peace and harmony.
Hi, this is uh, Katya Kaufman, uh, New York and uh, Russia. Germany, may the energy of forgiveness pour towards you. May it allow your soul to create new ways. And your personality to express the essence Any more blessings, dear fellow elders in training? This is Margot from Canada. Deutschland, Germany. May the beauty music and harmony of your soul sound clearly through your people, your politicians, into the land. So that your example of finding harmony, cooperation through conflict will bring peace to the planet. This is Efra from Israel, Germany. May the light of your soul will soften, soften some of the old and unrelevant mechanism. Rasita, your hand was raised for a moment. Uh, if you still would like to speak, please raise your hand and we'll unmute you. This is Rosita from Britain, Germany. I wish you focused and clear thinking a synthesis of all the beautiful energies of your nation and i wish for you to be a benevolent and peaceful power in the world Bernard from France, 
may uh, Germany relate it to her soul pathway, be the bridge between uh, East and West. Germany is an example of unifying the complementary oppositions. This is Alexander. I'm New York and Ukraine. Germany once experienced what the cosmic evil is. You can recognize its note in the world now. Be strong and brave, naming what you see and what you recognize, and lead others in this recognition. Learn and teach others how to bring harmony to the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you, friends, for these beautiful soul blessings. And if anyone would like to add one as we go along now, please feel free to, to add. Meanwhile, I would like to invite the Germans among us to let us know how you feel now after this snapshot and receiving these blessings. Hello everyone, here's a native from Germany. Yes, while hearing and after the snapshot, I felt a strong tension also inside myself. And I thought if this tension could be like the tension Germany needs to do the next step in its development, in the next step from polarity in synthesis or something like this and then receiving all these so beautiful and so strong blessings and for me so so fitting blessings so so very well fitting blessings for germany there it was like like being uplifted um to this next step of development and i I experience it at the moment like a like a seed moment and a great support really also in this Scorpio energy and yes a, a 
I'm so cr full of gratitude at the moment. So and gratitude and also love for for Germany and and full of hope to for the next step and the bridge building. So thank you, everyone. Hello, Ursula. Hello to everybody and um, deep gratitude for uh, your blessings and also listening to what we feel as Klangschale uh, of Germany, for Germany. Um, for sure, I have to, and we all as a group, Klangschale group, will have to um step deeper into your blessings to listen again to read them um listening now um i received the feeling i perceive really uh, to be sustained in our work for germany to be part of a wider network and um, to be sustained in the research of the right uh, energy to be released to germany and uh, to be diffused and uh, this ne wider network clearly goes both ways and uh, this is a blessing a great blessing so um thank you so much Um, this is Sabina from Germany, and I can agree with my both friends who were speaking before me. I wanted to add that I'm really very touched, very moved listening to your blessings and being an incarnation in Germany in this time. Um, I was remembered to a German tale where is a man who is living with chains around his heart and in the end something happens and the chains are cracking up and it was really something like that when I was listening especially to some of your blessings of the blessings and I'm so thankful for this um, elder circle uh, which for me seems to have opened really a new, quite new passage to a future for the whole planet. Especially thanks for the blessings who showed me how necessary it is, no matter how uncomfortable it is, to really try to touch the deepest possible point like the Scorpio energy is supporting to do that because touching the deepest possible point is is necessary to raise up to the highest possible point so thank you for for this encouraging and thank you for a kind of release I can take with me home from this meeting And yeah, a lot of work to be done still.
Excuse me, I forgot two points. <laughs> Sabina again. Um, it is not only touching the deepest possible point, but really to have the courage to name it, to put light on it and not to deal with it. This was for me a good result from after listening. Yeah, I also, Uta from Germany, want also to express uh, that I'm deeply touched both by the snapshot and uh, the blessings. Having worked now for the last weeks on this snapshot and still today, um, sharing it with in, in in this into this space here um it uh, gave me a sense of what a magnitude of it has to work with a collective entity and to penetrate like you said sabina into into the deepest points it's really only when we touch the deepest points that we can redeem them and move forward. And uh, I also felt that today with this work now, um, a door has been opened, uh, a significant step forward. Something has opened now for us to, to go deeper, to, to embrace more, to I don't know, become more causal in our work as well. And uh, how important it is on the one hand to do this national work by people of that nation <clears throat> nationality, but also to, to, to receive the reflections from the other nations with love, caring and with truth. We need both, and um, yeah, it was touching for me to to hear in the blessings through the blessings, both the love, the care, the the, the true care for Germany. Also, I heard um, how you call that wertschätzung. Um, um, appreciation for what Germany is, which was kind of in, in, in our dark night of the soul that we have now, it's, it's a, a very uh, good feeling to be recognized and strengthened by this, and also to be told the truth. It's very important. And as you said, Sabine is not always comfortable, um, but it gives direction. It shows the way, and we need to show each other the way. Deep gratitude. Then do we have time for more uh, sharing from this circle? Yes, we have. Uh, I see Jim. Yes, we have some some more time. This is Jim Clark in Mexico. This webinar has been really, really moving. I haven't ever felt anything quite like this before. And the depth and the width 
and the profundity of everything that's being shared. And so I've been trying to search within myself if I should say what I'm thinking, and the answer is yes, so I'm here. I would like to suggest or propose that a sole blessing for Germany would be one of a divine indifference. And what I mean by that is, in view of all the wonderful things that have been said by everyone regarding the blessings, I think that Germany, along with really truly the rest of the planet, is going through such an incredible dark night of the soul, which from my point of view is really at the beginning. I think all of us have got a, a, quite a ways to go here. And if I may say so, I think that uh, it would be well advised for us to consider the fact that we and we all come back however many more years that's going to be, we once again are going to find ourselves called, but at a higher turn of the spiral, because things could actually be more difficult and more challenging than we see them today. And honestly, if as long as I'm saying it, I'm going to just go ahead and finish up. I think it could be more than one lifetime. I think it could be a couple. And so maybe what I'm saying is going to go against the grain of a lot of people. But at the beginning, Uta said, you know, please be uh, patient and uh, willing to hear things that maybe are not so comfortable. So I think that if we can realize that Right now, I don't think it's a time for struggle. Because I think we're struggling against something that could very well be a planetary soul, a planetary will to good that is shaking this thing to the point where it's going to crumble in a lot of areas. And if we can maintain our energy, and hunker down and with love and with the will to good, try to adopt an attitude of a divine indifference, I think it would be furthering. And that's really all I have to say. Wow, thank you, Jim. Okay, so we also wanted to hear a bit about how is it for elders to sit in this circle and hold space, but now we, are, we don't have uh, more time. I would like to say a few more things. Um, and also, Alexander, you would like to, to make an announcement, so maybe uh, go ahead and do it, and then I say a few more things. Thank you, Uta. Thank you, friends. Um, I invite uh, everyone to join another uh, webinar on November 10th, this Thursday. Um, this is going to be our Scorpio Festival Meditation for the Common Good. And uh, in this 
cycle of Scorpio Sagittarius. For the next few weeks, we invite the group to hold focus on the topic, imagining new systems for human societies coming into right relationship with the Christ. So please join us on November 10th at 1900 GMT. Over. Okay. Yeah, and we will have our next uh, webinar in a month, next full moon. I don't remember exactly the date now. Um, but what I wanted to say is that we will convene for the nation of Israel next month. And we would like to invite uh, candidates for presenting a snapshot of your nation after that, in January and onwards. Um, would I just uh, want to add that it's going to be on December 6th, the next Creative Lab. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. So you have the the protocol of the snapshot uh, on the in the chat box, or you can also write me for it if you if you can't uh, copy it. Um, and of course, we will give us assistance. Uh, we will be very happy to enter um, um, a cooperative um, yeah exchange with anyone who would like to, to use the snapshot and use this forum uh, to yeah, do something for our nation and uh, for our world. Um, we would also like to draw attention again to the project in support of the Great Triangle of Nations, Russia, USA and Britain. Uh, the subjective work is being done by several groups and interestingly uh, most of them focus this kind of work, uh, this specific work, every Sunday, each one in our own time. So this is another way to weave the new and uh, it can be a, a very simple visualization just for one minute um, to visualize the three points of the triangle and the energy flowing freely uh, in between them in right relation and harmony. So today is a big day for the USA, the midterm election going on. So let us now, in closing, just hold a minute of silent intent in support for the USA on this day of recollection and refocusing. Just hold a minute of focused intent on this great nation, USA. See a line of light being projected from the USA to Russia.
and another line of light to Britain. See the whole triangle, the energy flowing between these three points, weaving slowly, slowly right relation, breaking through the impediments and the distortions, establishing right relation and harmony and seeing this flow expanding as a blessing to all nations. Oh. Thank you, friends. See you next month.